Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Daryl Spiller, here bringing you my first playthrough on the channel, which we will be playing through Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, I played this game a lot whenever I was younger, and it was actually my second game on the Wii. So yeah, this is going to bring back some memories. I haven't played this in so long. So yeah, Super Mario Galaxy. Wow, 2007. It's hard to imagine it's been that long since its release. So yeah, let's get into it. So first we will choose a file and choose a planet. Or create a planet for that matter. We'll choose Mario. Too bad you can't mess with Mario's face like in Super Mario 64. I guess you can spin him around, but anyway, let's -a go. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Dear Mario, I've been waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give you from Princess Peach. And thus, Princess Peach has a something at the castle, and let's get into it. Look at Mario, very, very happy. It's a beautiful night. Now we can first control and play. All right. So yeah, one of the things that I really love about Super Mario Galaxy is the open world. I just am so happy that the next 3D Mario, which is Super Mario Odyssey, we will be able to do the same and just explore. And really more than what was in Mario Galaxy, although, you know, this game was amazing. All the little toads are so happy. Wait, wait. The castle's just down this path. You can't miss it. No, I can see it. I believe that you can look. Oh, yeah, you can gaze right there. Beautiful. Yeah, this brings back a lot of memories. You can also collect these star bits, which will be useful later. Very, very happy. Star bits. But it won't be happy for too long because Bowser's always got to intervene. <laughs> always got to mess up everything and bring havoc upon the Mushroom Kingdom, which is nothing new. Freezing the toads in those crystals. How dare you! Wonder who it is. Like he hasn't stopped since like 30 games now. <laughs> Never learns. Peach has us a star. So sweet. We gotta deal with him again. There he is. He isn't as big as uh, the Mario 64 Bowser. Princess Peach. Finally, I'm to the creation of my new galaxy. Scare the star, Bowser. This festival's over! Thus, a UFO! Magical, magnetic powers. Oh my. And we can't save these toads yet because Mario has not unlocked the ability to spin. But we will get that soon. The princess... Is this way? Yes, I know that. I'm good. Help me. 
I will take the long path and avoid getting hurt. Or try to. Yeah, I don't think that you can get hurt. Go over here. And the UFO. Pulling another super... Was it Super? No, Paper Mario. Just take the whole castle. Don't even bother just trying to kidnap the princess. Just take the whole castle. Makes sense. <laughs> Mario, you better get up and run there. Do it again. Destroying the galaxy. That is a lot of good. It wasn't really this easy. Kamex gotta mess things up. So long, enjoy your flight! Um. Watch out! And thus, we are flying into oblivion. Oh no. And thus, now. Well, not all hope is lost, because we have a little star friend that is following us. Mm. Sleepy. Mm. Oh. Where are oh. you? We are on a lonely planet. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And look, there's a little star rabbit. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. So this is like Super Mario 64 where you have to catch the rabbits and chase them down. Right, I believe that you can shoot them as well. Not yet. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you where you are. Very nice. Now we got to go on a scavenger hunt. Find the three rabbits. Should be one right there. Yep. All right. Yeah, I haven't played this in a long time. Come on. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. There we go. You caught me. Ah, I knew I shouldn't have. I should have hidden in the crater. Thank you. So now... Oh. Mario hurting himself. All right, let's find the crater. Is this the crater? No, oh, I see it. There's a crater over here. Yep, there's the second rabbit. Yeah, I remember when this game came out, and it just boggled my mind that you could just run. No matter what surface, upside down, it didn't matter. You caught me! That is two. Aw, uh, if I only... Oh, if only I'd hidden in the pipe. Well, thank you for giving out your other friend's information. What a good friend. Oh, oh I see the pipe. There it is, and then this should be where the third rabbit is. And there's the third and last rabbit. Let's grab him. And now we can figure out where we are. Come here. 
does not. He should tire out very soon. Yep. He is starting to tire out. Very good, and that is the third and final rabbit. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you really can help Mama. Who is Mama? And thus, a little star castle appears. Sorry about bringing you here so suddenly. We should probably tell you where you are. There is a connection here to deep space, far from your lands. We call it the gateway to the starry sky. Lovely. Let's see what he has to say. Yes. Mama's waiting up above. Please help her with whatever she asks. Okie dokie. And thus we can see the first representation. First appearance of Rosalina. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. And thus, we will unlock Mario's main ability in this game. The Super Spin Shake, yes. She just shake the Wii Remote. Disaster struck us, just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. May the stars shine down on you. And there she goes, disappearing into space. Very good. Now we can shake and break crystals. Shake to spin things that are, yeah, unbreakable. Or look breakable. You can even spend enemies to stun them. Very nice. And here we go. Shaking the star, and we are off to the first main level of the game. Hi there. Good to see you. I have some bad news, though. See, I had the launch star all ready for you, but the meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall into the black hole. That is very good advice. Do not fall, otherwise you will lose a lot of access. Yeah, and another thing I love about Mario Galaxy is the music in this game is phenomenal. Very good. Let's get this one up while we're at it. Additional life. I'll just hit him, just hit him. <laughs> Very good. Now we are gonna have to find a key because this little guy is locked up. Get me out of here, one of those enemies should have a key. You can shake to spin them around and make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. Very good, it's not this one. It's gonna be a bigger Goomba. And there it is. Step on it. And there's the key. And that will unlock our little buddy trapped inside. Thanks, would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there too? I'll transform into the Sling Star. Just jump into me after I transform. Little works. Reminds me of Kirby. <laughs> and you are locked up as well. Spin enemies, run into them. To boot them. Give them the loot. And this is a big Goomba, so we are wanting to make him dizzy and then kick him. There's the key. Now we rescued that little guy. Let's collect some stars. They aren't necessary, but they will unlock some future levels, which are important. Whoops. 
Don't get tased, otherwise you'll get electrocuted. With those. Electric curts. Hurry, down here! We've been waiting for you. That's a Grand Star. We have to save it. They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. We had to do something before the Grand Star's power has drained. Quick! Find the way to stop that terrible machine. And we must click on all the buttons that are yellow to make them blue to shut this machine off. Without getting damaged in the process. That's that one. Whoops. Let's here. Turn off the flip switches. Yep. Very good. And there we go. The machine has been destroyed. Or turned off. And now we will rescue our first grand star. And the first star of the game. You got a grand star. Very good. Now we are going to the hub world of this game, the Comet Observatory. I believe that's what it's called, yeah. And we will turn the lights back on. A little bit of power will go a long way to get us where we need to go. And how I'm going to do this playthrough, I'm going to go through each world and get all the stars before I go on to the next one. Maybe see about completing it 100%. We'll see. You got a star. Grand Star Rescue. Gateway Galaxy. You got 24 star bits and 10 coins. You discovered a new galaxy. On the universe map. Very good. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as classic star. But at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every year, 100 years. But we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force has launched on our sh to our ship, pulling away star bits and the power source, power stores. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please, I have one request. This observatory uses power stars to protect images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms, yeah, round rooms, oh man, I'm tripping, are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the power star power you restored, is this one, the terrace. Please go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we will be able to restore the Comet Observatory ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Very good. And that just about wraps up this first introduction video to Super Mario Galaxy. If you liked what you saw or heard, please be sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to stay up to date whenever I go live or upload a video. And as always, stay awesome, keep the hype alive, and I will see you in the next video.